All right, this is the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who could be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It is Yahweh that justifies. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Chodash, double honors to my apostles, elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, and uh, just back at you with a quick lesson. You know, it's just uh, on my mind. And, um, you know, brothers are, hey, you know, we're at the end, okay? And I want to say this, and I'm saying this, doing this lesson first for myself, okay? And I uh, hope that those out there of the whole for elect, you can get something from it that builds upon your faith toward the Lord. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's getting bad out here, but it's not, you know, that bad yet, all right? You know, the economy is still flowing, but... You know, we know, we can see that this place is crumbling, you know, uh, Satan is attacking as well, you know, and that little comfortable comfortableness that you had, you know, it's, um, it's uh, being taken away, you know, and as our apostles, elders here at Great Millstone throughout the years, you know, always taught and uh, told brothers to, uh, to not be comfortable, you know, because comfortable, all right, leaves you, you know, unguarded. You know, you're not on point, you're lacking, you're slacking, you know. We, we, we in this truth to be on fire, all right? And when you're comfortable, you know, that takes away that urgency, you know, and it really, it really uh, dilutes, dilute your faith, man. So when you're catching hell, and, and no hell is not joyous, okay? When you're catching trouble, it's not joyous, but... It feels like you're closer to the Lord, all right? Because your faith is is um, it's all the way there, you know. You know, I like to uh, look at faith uh, in a way of, of measure, you know. Because you can have faith today, tomorrow you can have none. You know, this is why you we practice what we preach. All right, you know, hey, the, the prophets, the men of the Lord here at Great Millstone. You know, teach and 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 uh and apostles, okay, it starts with our apostles first. You know, they teach you to be sincere. You know, you gotta be sincere in this truth. Okay? Because if you're not honest with yourself, you can't be honest with others. And all it takes is a little rattling, a little shakedown. And all it takes is a little rattling, a little shakedown of the Lord, and there you go, faith is out the window. You can read Sirach, the second chapter, you know, because if you, you know, not use faith when things get hard and not endure, then the Lord won't defend you, man. Now, I don't want to go grab a bunch of precepts that come to my mind, but I want to read through this here, Romans 8, uh, starting at verse 31. You know, this is Apostle Paul speaking, and this is just the truth. You know, all the scriptures are the truth, which is the word of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, this is the comfort of the Lord gave us his word while we in this flesh, man, you know, and um, you just got to stay strong, man, you know, got to pray and, and really at this point now, iron out the bullshit, man, you know, you was doing a little bullshit, you know, we all, you know, ain't none of us perfect, man, but we strive, iron that shit out, man. And make it right with the Lord, man. Because if you don't receive mercy of the Lord, your ass is grass, man. You missile food, man. You know? So you got we got to do better. You got to do more, man. You know, and this is just coming through my mind. You know, I was just meditating on things. Brothers catching hell, you know? All of us, you know? <laughs> Start complaining, man. You would think we bitching, man. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is, man. This is Romans chapter 8, verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? So if the Father be for us, who could be against us? Who we worship is the power that runs the universe. He governs the universe. He's the true government, the true mind control, not Esau, okay? 
not NATO, okay, not this beast that's set up in the earth, all right, the heavenly father, which his name is Yahweh, and through his son, Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, they are the true government, government of the universe, we're living in his world, man, all right, he created the planets, the stars, the sun, the moon, the water, we're living in his world, all right, so it says, what shall, what, shall, what shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? You got to keep that in mind. That's why I have to highlight it, you know, because that, you know, is a, is a scripture you remember word for word, you know, and it just come off. You know, you be thinking about stuff and that scripture just come in your mind word for word. You know, I didn't study the wording. It just, it just sticks, you know, and that's good, you know, because... One thing, one thing that the Lord gave us that makes us different, all right, that, that really, that, that really, <laughs> you know, that really is going to, going to make, well, hmm, it's a lot here, you know, that makes us a different from the rest of the, the uh, Israelites, the elect, and I'm going to say the whole four elect, it's because we have the word, the knowledge of the Lord, all right, the wisdom and understanding, you know, you don't want your mind to get, start freaking out, man. You know, and, 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 and bugging the hell out. The Lord ain't make us no bug outs. You know, we, 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 he, he, he's uh, dwelling with us, within us, to be strong. You know, and when that time will come, when we need, you know, that, 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 that oomph, you know, that, that extra help, he'll be there. All right? You know, this is a wicked society, you know? And, and the Lord is crumbling it. So guess what? You're living in it. So that means that you ain't going to be doing well neither. You know, we're suffering, man. We know why we're suffering. All right? This was a sacrifice, man. You wake up to this truth, guess what? Remember, you committed a sacrifice to the Lord. You in debt. You know? Just like Esau, this devil was in debt to the Israelites, to Yahawashah. Well, guess what? He's going to have to pay that back by him going into slavery. Right now, we at the end of our debt. We almost paid our debt up, if you want to say all right, because why? We're closer to our beginning, which is the kingdom. This means Yahweh Shah is going to crack those clouds and save the elect. He's going to destroy the wicked, man. So it says, what shall we then say to these things? If Yahweh be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So we're going to have the world, man. You know, we're going to have the world, man. It says, who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? It is Yahweh that justifies. So remember at the end of the day, you know, remember at the end of the day, man, it's the Heavenly Father that justifies. You know, we, we, we judge according to Scripture, but we don't know who the, who, who, who's, who, who's the actual elect. You know, the elect is going to be, be known, okay, going through that fire, man, and, and they persevere through it and they endure they be taken up on the chariot. That's, you know, they receive that power, spiritual powers. That's when you know that's the elect. We don't have to say hopeful elect anymore. You'll, see, you'll end up saying that's the elect, man. Or matter of fact, the scripture in 2nd Edris 16. Then you shall know who are my chosen. All right. When Esau go to demonizing and want to persecute brothers, you know, false, you know, the false accusations and and uh, uh, as the scriptures say, what it say? Um, the accuser of thy brethren, you know, lying on brothers, then you're gonna be known as the Lord's chosen. All right? Hey, the Lord's gonna magnify brothers by brothers being persecuted. Hey, <laughs> he, hey, the Lord, the Lord is the Lord is that way. You know, I'll do say in Atlanta that way. Yeah, the Lord is that way, man. He'll give you glory and magnify you by you being persecuted, man. You see how the Lord work? <laughs> Lord is not, not of this world, man. You know, not of this world, man. It said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. My ways are not your ways. So remember that. It says, uh, verse 34, who is he that condemneth? It is Yahawashai, Hamashiach, that died. And I say that, let me say this, because when, when the men of the Lord being persecuted, it's going to give glory. It's going to give uh, glory and praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahawashai. All right. Everything that's being done. On a, on a, on a, a larger scale, overall, it's all for the glory 
of Yahweh Bashem Shai for the world to recognize who the true and living power is. And the Lord said he will be magnified from the borders of Israel. And remember, Israel is a people before a place. So the Lord is going he gonna he gonna receive that glory, all right, but he's gonna be magnified through his own people. You know? So by you being persecuted, being put up there on, on a fucking, you know, I'm just thinking ahead and how it could go down. Esau putting your face up there on the news and shit and, and you know, knowing you did nothing and they locking you up and they looking for you or whatever. Well, guess what? You're going to be known as the Lord's chosen, the Lord's prophet, man. Hey, remember, shit, the prophets, the prophets uh, uh, had it rough. They had it very rough, man. You know, you had Jake want to kill. They was killing the prophets back then or they wanted to kill them, man. They didn't want to hear you come into their city talking about the Lord going to do this and do that, just like this today, you know? It says, verse 34, Who is he that condemneth? It is Hamashiach, Yahawashai, that died, yea, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of Yahweh, who maketh intercession for us? So the Lord makes intercession for us, man. All right? He's a middleman. Okay, between the father and us. He's sort of like our lawyer, you know? You know how you get in trouble or you gotta go to the courts. He saw wanna rob you, take your money away from you, but you wanna fight back, you get a lawyer, you know, to hopefully get you out of that shit. You know? And Yahweh Shah is the best lawyer on earth. Which lawyer goes back to what? Priests. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm just having fun. Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? And these things are, are, are happening. And these things will happen. If it ain't happening to you yet, oh, it's gonna happen, man. All right? So, Sirach, the second chapter, goes into how we shall be changed into a low estate, man. Okay? So it's better to go through it now, all right? Be rebuked, be chastened of the Lord, and accepted than to go through that fire, man. All right? To be destroyed. Remember, 2 uh, Edris 9, it says they must know it after death by pain. So that means that two-thirds, they can't get this truth from what we got now. They can't receive this gospel of Yahweh Shai and the love of the Lord today. They have to die in order for them to get it, man. See, we want to be a part of that first resurrection, man. So this is, this is that straight gate. This is the straight gate. You know? Everything ain't always going to be calm. The waters, you know, the Lord shake the waters, man. All right? That moon uh, puts that vibration upon the sea. And the waters and the tidal waves, well, that's sort of like our uh, vibrations that we go through, you know, in our ups and downs and merry-go-rounds living in this wicked-ass society, man. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thou sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Because we're like sheep, you know, sent out to the wolves, man. You know, we're not, we're not tough guys. We're not lions. You know, we don't have a bite. Our bite is the scriptures. Our bite is the word. All right, we're not physical. We're spiritual. You know, every time you're going through shit, somebody, you know, in the world, giving you a hard time, taking advantage of you, you know, you can't render evil for evil. You can't play that game. You got to take it on the chin, man. You know, and you, you know what? I right, say no more, man. You might argue because you're passionate. <clears throat> you have indignation, which is righteous anger, you know? So you got, you know, you got to be, you got to, scriptures say, be ye angry, but sin not. So, so yeah, we're suffering, man. All right? Because you can't get no lick back, you know, when, when somebody, you know, trespassed against you. You got to just take it. Remember Micah, the seventh chapter. He said, I will suffer the indignation of the Lord until he plead my cause, you know? And then he said, you know, that woman that was giving him hell shall be trodden down as the mire in the street. You know? So those are some scriptures to remember, man. So it says, Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? Shall tribulation or distress? 
Now, real quick. Real quick, bear with me. I'm trying to make me hurry up. I'm doing this lesson on the fly. All right. The stress, the state of extreme sorrow, <coughs> suffering, or, or pain. Yeah, the stress is a motherfucker, man. I'm telling you, boy. It says, the stress is a state of extreme sorrow, suffering, or pain. So as Apostle Paul said, shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine, what we're looking at, a famine, persecution coming, or nakedness being without, right? It says, or peril or sword, as it is written, for thou sake we are killed all the day long, we are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Verse 37, it says, nay, now the word nay means no. It says, no. In all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord. All right. So, those, so that's, that's heavy, man. And it's something to meditate on whenever you're feeling down, man. And you're going through it, shit. You know, you know you just gotta remain strong and fight, pray. You know, and the Lord ease your mind and make things better. You know, take a walk in the park. You know, go get a brewski. <laughs> you know, take a little sip, but don't overdo it so you don't go crazy, man. You know, it is what it is, man. Go work out. You know, go do, go get that money. I'm talking about on the bar. You know, you gotta do whatever it takes, man. To ease your mind and get through this shit, you know, because we ain't even at the breaking point yet, you know. But but Satan is at work, man. <laughs> Satan is working for yo. He he on attack mode, man. You know. But we got Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai on our side. It's just a test, you know. And the Lord ain't gonna give you what you can't handle, you know. And I believe that. All right, having faith in His Word and trusting in that, and and the Lord is gonna deliver us, man. He gonna deliver you. So whoever this lesson may uh, edify, I hope it edify you. Let it build upon your faith toward Yahweh, Baha Shimi Shai, and your journey and this truth. And I pray for the elect, man. Okay? Pray for the elect to be delivered so we can get out of here, man. Because the elect is actually one family, man. All right? Your family is the is, is the those who do the will of the Father, who's in the spirit is power, who's in the spirit of Yahweh Baha Shimi Shai. All right? Because we all gonna be brought up together, those of the elect into that ship. You know, so hey, hopefully this comfort, comforting, comforting words, and I'm doing this lesson like I said again for myself first, you know, and then out for others, man. So with that, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Chodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.